Caffeine is one of the most studied supplement in the world. It has long been promoted as the performance enhancer. The US Special Forces even use it to enhance performance and awareness. A single dose can significantly improve your excess performance, focus and fat burning. So should you have a cup of coffee before going to the gym? Is it still effective for a regular coffee drinker? Well, in this video, we are going to grind into some of the latest research to help you sip smarter. Hey everyone, welcome to Health Insiders. We upload weekly videos regarding health, nutrition and fitness. And if you like our research backed content, then please make sure you subscribe and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Let's get the video to 100 likes. Now let's begin the video. Let's first look at how exactly does coffee work in your body and then we will dive into the different ways that coffee can boost your workout performance. So basically, when you drink a cup of coffee or whip a mug full of matcha, caffeine goes straight to your brain where it can specifically block various receptors. By blocking these A1 receptors, it can prevent sleepiness and increase endurance. And by blocking the A2A receptors, it can increase your focus and power by increasing the levels of dopamine and epinephrine as known as adrenaline. So what are the ways through which caffeine can boost your workout performance? First, it is a great fat burner. You are more likely to find coffee on the labels of even the most cutting edge fat burners for a number of good reasons. First, because of its effects on brain receptors, caffeine can help you exercise harder for a longer period of time, which helps you burn more calories. Second, it can help you burn more calories even while you're resting due to the increase in the noradrenaline, which is a hormone that bumps your metabolic rate. However, if you drink coffee every single day, this short-term thermogenic effect will fade. Third is the rule which I call pick me up, which helps to mobilize the lipids in the fat cells so they can be used for energy, helping your body work more efficiently. And last, caffeine can suppress your appetite by turning on fight or flight response and temporarily keeping you from wanting to eat more. If fat loss is your primary goal, then take 100 to 200 mg of caffeine twice per day. Second, fast recovery. Taking caffeine with carbohydrates can help to speed up your glycogen replenishment, which is especially important if you exercise regularly or more than once per day. Caffeine will help you rebuild your muscles so that you can get back out there. Third benefit of taking caffeine is that it can increase your aerobic performance. If you run, play a sport or do any sort of endurance heavy activity, then you may want to take 100 to 200 mg of caffeine before your workout. Caffeine will block those A1 receptors and help you exercise for a longer period of time. However, if you play a sport that mostly relies on endurance but also requires short bursts of power, then you will benefit the most if you take a cup of coffee just before the game instead of early morning. And last, it can enhance your anaerobic performance as well. According to research, a caffeine dose of 200 to 600 mg may help you run faster or lift more weights. However, this effect is minor and it fades away with the frequent intake of caffeine. In fact, as your tolerance increases, you will need to take more caffeine to achieve the same level of focus and strength that you had without caffeine. This process is called withdrawal reversal. So how do we avoid this dependence on caffeine? Some people can build up tolerance in a few days and for others it may take up to a week. Similarly, some people can reset their body in a week but for others it might take a couple of months. So, so if you have headaches or you find trouble sleeping on weekends when you skip your coffee, then try cutting back for a little bit more during the week. A good way to test your tolerance would be by taking at least two weeks off from caffeine and then getting back into it by starting with a small dose of around 50 to 200 mg. If you find the energy that you are looking for from this dosage, then you may want to get back to your regular schedule lattes. Otherwise, take another week off and then try a small dose again. And lastly, let's look at when to cut back on caffeine. Just like any other stimulant, caffeine in coffee can also cause some danger. Keep track of how many cups of coffee, tea, sport drinks and sodas you consume each day because they all have caffeine in them to some extent. Also, consider the supplements you are taking especially any pre-workout mixes which typically contains caffeine 
most people should avoid consuming more than 600 mg of caffeine in a single day. If you want to learn more about the supplements that you should be taking while going to the gym, then check out this video in the link above. Alright guys, that is all for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It will mean the world to us. Also tell us in the comment section about your favorite part of the video and any of the suggestions you have for the future videos. I love reading your comments and respond to every single comment from you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next one. Peace.